No, I've, I've actually figured out how to do it. I was just about to join. Okay. Yeah. So, um, we wanted to talk about uh, creating relationship. And it's something that, again, we did in uh, when we were covering uh, Power BI. And so relationship, again, it's something that you you do when you have uh, maybe a data set with more than uh, more than one uh, table, right? Yeah, and I, again, I want us to use the data set that I, that I shared with you yesterday. If we open this, you will be able to see that there are different connections that have been created. But there is uh, that data set that I gave you to work on uh, Power BI. It's it's more or less similar to Sample Superstore. But do you have it uh, on your on your laptop, Ian? Uh huh. You have the data the data that I gave you people to work on uh, Power BI. I I do. I just got it. I have loaded it. Up. Yeah. So that is what you want to use to to talk about uh, creating a relationship, and then we go to something else. Which is going to be now a dashboard, creating your dashboard, uh, which will form bulk of what we do maybe today and tomorrow before we conclude. Yeah, so, um, so if you click on maybe Microsoft Excel, of course, this we covered yesterday. Uh, I think I have it in my downloads. I should be. Yeah. And so here it is. So we have this one. This this the, the data set is called the uh, retail store data set. They're selling us to drag tables here and there. Yeah, so if you drag maybe one there. So I have people here. Uh, let me. Actually, don't go back. Yeah, so it, yeah, it's back. So um, we can create relationships. Maybe first, let's let's examine uh, which table we have here. Yeah. So if you click on that, there's something that comes that looks like a table when you when you hover your cursor over maybe something like orders. Yeah. So processing request. Let's see. It's a little bit slow. So a lot of time may vary depending on size. Yeah, this data is of course a little bit huge. That's why it might be taking time to to even uh, uh, open up. When you clicked that, as yours, uh, yours worked, uh, maybe Ian, when you clicked on uh, to, to view the table. Yeah, it did. Yours has worked, eh? Yeah. I but don't know what. The problem is, yeah. it, uh, it interconnected with the other one from like yesterday, so I have to do it again. Yeah, so you, 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 you needed to maybe open a new workbook. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, again. yeah. So this is a preview of maybe the the. Let me preview this data in 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 Excel first. It should be. Yeah. So this is the. The data that is you are trying to load. So let's check uh, when you preview it in, in in Excel. Like, what are the common rows that you are able to see, uh, Karen? I don't know if there is any common rows that you are able to see. Not common rows, but common column, because we mentioned that when you want to connect data to to um, to, to another, like creating relationship, you also have to check what is the common row that I'm going to use, common column that I'm going to use to, to join to the, another, to, the, to the other table, right? 
we talked about things like primary key and we talked about foreign key. I don't know if you can remember what, what foreign key is. Uh, Karen, are you able to remember what a foreign key is? Uh, I know the definition from what we learned in school. Mm -hmm. What is it? So, a foreign key is a, an attribute or a group of attributes that resembles the primary key of another table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so that is, it uh, makes sense. So maybe, like, you can talk about it as uh, a primary key of, sorry, so an attribute. Maybe let me just go with your definition. So an attribute that resembles maybe another attribute uh, or maybe a primary key in another table, right? Yeah, so you may find that maybe you have orders and then you have returns and then there is, there is this row ID. But when you get to returns also, you get row ID, right? But row ID was uniquely identifying this table and it might not necessarily identify uh, uniquely identify this other table. So uh, it becomes more of like a foreign key. Uh, a table may contain a primary key, may, may contain a foreign key, and uh, uh, a composite key. Composite key, you find uh, you find in a, in a situation where we have um, two columns has to be present to uniquely identify that table. I mean, so think of it as something like, uh, uh, let's not talk about ID. Let's talk about what? Uh, how do we write a student registration number? So stu student registration number, how is it always written? So for example, ours was, I, so mine was I6341772020. <laughs> so I sixty three is 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 common for those who are maybe doing statistics, and then four one seven seven is now that unique number, that is very unique to to everyone. So think of it that I sixty three was a row on its was a column on its own, and then uh, now this four one seven seven. So mine might be four one seven seven. Somebody else four one six three. So you have you have them separate. So you have this I sixty three, and then you have this other one, which is four one seven seven. Yeah, and and maybe they are different columns. So they have to work together for for it to uniquely identify maybe maybe uh, uh, somebody. So, so that is that is that is more or less like a, a, how a composite uh, key works. So um, when when talking about relationships. Um, you have to understand maybe about primary key and you have to also understand uh, about maybe things like um, uh, composite or maybe even foreign keys. <clears throat> so, so, so composite just works by combining multiple columns. Yeah, so multiple columns comes together to identify that table, the, the, the specific table that, uh, that you're working on. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you 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 you'll think of the same. But the question was, which rows or which columns are you <clears throat> able to see that uh, looks alike in in these three tables? Karen, can you now know to ambi? Um, now na kuna order ID in the orders table and in the returns. So kuna order ID hapa na kuna order ID hapa, eh? Uh huh. <clears throat> so let's get, yeah. So there's order ID and also there's <clears throat> there's order ID also here. Yeah, that's true. Any other thing, Ian? Uh, no, almost everything has been said. Almost everything has been said. You are not seeing any relationship uh, <clears throat> between people and returns. I couldn't find most of the relationships and I even wrote it down in the email, so I'm just listening in. 
Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh... There's um there's a similar um column of region in all the three tables. Yeah, and you couldn't you can see that there's region here, and when you come to returns also, there's region here. When you go to orders, you find this region again here. Uh, yes, there is, but uh, yeah, there is. It is it, it sorry? It couldn't form such a relationship in Power BI because it was giving an error for me. Okay. Uh, Okay, yeah. So first, you check for those different uh, relationships that uh, exist there. So how are we going to create it? So that is what I wanted to check. So you just maybe hover around uh, your data just to see. So instead of doing this, I went for the uh, to, to view it in Excel, and and you can work with uh, with the tools in collaboration. Yeah. So which ones do which one do you think we can start with? So orders is present. So region is present in all of them. So you can see returns. So re, uh, so the returns has order ID has region. Mm. So it is this one that we can even use to create. Let's check. If we pull in returns. And then you pull in, uh, you pull in uh, people. Okay, one thing. Sorry. Yes. You are using yesterday's data to do the tableau thing. Um, no, this one I'm using uh, the data that I sent to you people. For the, the, the assignment one. Yeah, yeah, for the assignment one. So let's check. Um, if this is this relationship is going to be created we have returns and region and orders so region is central america western europe and this other one is which one western okay yeah it contains more or less sorry uh -huh. so select matching fields so you can check which which fields are uh, are matching here. Okay, I can float. This looks very nice, but I, I don't know what you've done. I'm sorry. Okay, let me get all of them back. Uh, let me get this back. So there is this place where uh, are you able to see this part? Drag 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 tables here. Yes. So when you want to create a relationship, so if you have multiple tables, so for example, here we have how many tables? We have orders, people, and returns, right? Yeah? Yeah, yes, yes. And we want to create a relationship between these tables. Yeah. For us to do the same, we first have to understand, like, which are the common columns. Nelea? Yes. And we have gone through col uh, common columns, right? Yes. Okay. Have you seen that maybe in orders ID we have uh, in orders we have order ID here? Yes, we do. When you go to returns, we also have order ID. Order ID, yes. Right. Hmm. So when you check again, what is another common uh, common column? Common column again is here, region. Right. Region is here. When you go to returns, you also find region. When you go to yes. people, you find region again, mm -hmm. right? So, so that is a com. You remember we did uh, creating relationships in 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 uh, in Power BI, right? Yes. Yeah. So you first have to identify like which are the common columns, yeah, that you can use to create relationships. Is that true? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. When you go to Tableau, now we have all our, uh, our 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 tables here. So you drag you drag the tables to. Uh, I'm tempted to use this first. Uh, 
you drag the tables to uh, to this place. Now you see, need more data, drag tables here to relate them. We want to do a relationship. You want to create a relationship, is it? Okay, I'll ask Sorry. the question. Would you undra undrag it, then you can drag it again. So dragging uh -huh. it, I, I, I go to, I, I click this orders, right? Mm -hmm. I click yes. it and drag it here. You can see. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah, it's, right. you just come here and drag it. Now we have okay. orders. So let's because we want to relate it with the others, we also drag the 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 other tables, right? Mm -hmm. So you drag this and then come back and drag this one for returns and pull it there. Good. Now, okay. So yeah. now, now now you see we are having maybe an issue here. Uh so we have orders and returns. So what what, what is the do we have any table that is related? So, so under returns, we have order ID. Under orders, we also have order ID. Order ID. We should be having order ID here. Order ID here. Yeah. So, um, so let's see. Apa kuna issue. So, cardinality many to many. So, this relationship has no matching fields. Edit the relationship to select matching fields let's see so we have order id so is this order id in under orders and returns we also have order id returns yeah see sasa iko sawa let's see this one so orders many to me so region is equaling to region people uh, which is okay yeah so uh that's that that's that's how to create um the relationship are you okay uh winnie yes yeah but if you go back here you can you can check on performance options you can click on performance options and even edit the cardinality yeah edit the cardinality if you if you see that maybe it is one we, we talked about again even this if it is one to one edit it if it is one to many talk about it uh mention the same so you that means you need to have an understanding of uh we have order id hopper uh so do we have uh, so for example in this case you can see we have ca 2014 ab blah 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 it is similar to this so we have this order ID, and then we have this other order ID here. There are many, like it's not a single order. See, at like you can dika e, you you don't have to write it again. Like that is what I'm, I'm understanding from this data. You can see that this order ID na e in a fanana, right? So it is not like we are having a single order. So so that if you have C A 2012 and the rest, we don't uh, meet it again. So we are meeting it multiple times. Similar to this one, you can quickly identify that you have CA 2014 and we also have here CA 2014, AB, whatever. Yeah, so it is many in this case. Uh, then you check on maybe returns. Returns, uh, you can also check if, if maybe when we have this order ID here, we will meet it again somewhere else, right? Yeah, so that is why... Um, Maybe by default, uh, Tableau has identified that it is uh, many to many or something. So if you confirm that that is the case, then now we have an understanding why it is many to many. But if it were that, uh, if we meet order ID, for example, E Maramoja, we meet it here once, we also come to meet it here once, then the relationship could have been the relationship could have been here. So if we meet order ID here once, like we meet it once, here, uh, here we meet it once, yet we are going to meet it again. Then we come to returns, also we meet it once. What could have been the relationship? 
one-to-many. <laughs> what could have been the year? It can be one-to-one. Yeah, it could have been one-to-one. -one. You're winning. If we were meeting it here once, and our orders to the now Maramoja here, and then we go back to returns, we also meet it once, then one-to-one. -one. If we meet it here once, and then we are meeting it here many times, then it can be one to many. So we, we can have, for example, this one, uh, CA2014, one times here, but when we go to returns, we are meeting CA yeah, many times, right? Then it is one to many. Yeah. So that, that, is, that is the, have that kind of understanding when creating these uh, relationships in either Power BI or Tableau. Uh -huh. Do you have any question? Winnie, I'm, uh, I'm seeing uh, your microphone is on. I have a question. Yes. Uh, there's a part where, uh, under the cardinality in the performance option, there's a part where it says re refer uh, referential uh -huh. integrity. Uh -huh. So does that also automatically put if some records match and all records match, or do you have to do it? Yeah, so uh, Nini, um, these are default things that tableau uh does for you right um, but it okay. is upon you to to go and check if they are true right that is why i had to click on performance uh, uh options <clears throat> right what is the integrity whenever uh tableau is looking for trying to create this relationship is it that you want it just as so check on this some values in region in orders don't have much in people or you don't know. So this will keep all measure uh, values, uh, measure values, even and matched ones. So if maybe you, let's see if you put it as re all records match. Yeah. So you can put it as, as, as all rec records match. So this will generate fewer and simpler joins to optimize queries. You might see inconsistent results during analysis if there are unmatched values in orders. Yeah, so uh, this one could be the the preferred option so that it, it picks maybe even uh, if some of them are not uh, exactly matching uh, the, uh, the selections that you have. Yeah, so you can also maybe review this even further like referential integrity in uh in in in, in tableau just to have a more understanding of <clears throat> of the of uh, the cases maybe when you you could use it but for me I, I i prefer always just leaving it as provided that i have this as correct then this one doesn't really um uh, catch my attention as such. Yeah, so if even if you had maybe 10 or 30 uh, maybe tables, yeah, you could drag the ones that you want here and create various uh, relationships uh, out of it. Yeah, uh, it's only that you don't have uh, another table here. Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't do it. Yeah, but let me see here. I'm just trying to edit something uh, to see if you can create uh, multiple, multiple relationships. Yeah, so if you had maybe one where you want to create it uh, with the people, yeah, it's maybe matching people and not matching this other one. You just pull it to, to the people side. Uh, the same way maybe I pull yeah you can just pull it this way and 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 create more relationships as as uh, as you move forward so that is that is an instance yeah if you want to create more relationship with orders you just you just place it around the other ones right and and and, and uh, you check what happens if you want to create it maybe now with the, this one for returns you just pull in 
that one for returns and 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 do what you want yeah so that is uh on creating uh relationships with uh with what uh inter blue yeah you can also do a union so what is your understanding around the union what is your understanding around the union uh winning Winnie, you are on mute. Okay, Karen, help me. A union? No, no, just say anything that comes uh, to union your mind. Yeah. Joining, With, bringing two in together, like different, whatever, into one. Yeah, uh, you're asking for help from Karen. Yeah, so think of it as you are, uh, you are, you're taking this control copy. And then I am pasting it to this place. Uh, what I've done is just uniting them. So that is that is the understanding around the union. What's the difference with VLOOKUP? With? Uh, VLOOKUP, if you're looking up the same on the other side. Is it the same as union? Uh, will it be, does, does VLOOKUP do that for you really? Mm hmm yeah let me try to see if there is any any much difference yeah i i don't see any huge difference as such uh, uh between the two it's only the, the the difference that would be is you are operating on different tools <laughs> yeah but uh in all the cases it's 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 uh it's uniting uh uh, tables or maybe uniting records from two different um, uh, tables because even what I did also you can even do it with 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 VLOOKUP yeah but it will require some matching here and there but this one I just maybe pasted uh, pasted what we had no matter the length of even the no matter the length of uh, of the of the records because you can check that this is even longer so union won't really mind about the might not really mind about the length so these ones will be now zeros or nulls but v lookup will mind might mind about the length yeah um so this 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 more or less on uh on creating the relationships uh, in, in W. You can revisit also this, uh, how we did it in, uh, in BI, Power BI. Okay, so once this is done, now you can proceed to your analytics. This, this is more or less the same data that we used yesterday, so I, I don't think there's, there's any need for us to explore it further. But what I wanted to show you is that you, 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 you might be having a table with numerous kinds of data that will just require you to create uh, to create relationships first before you do analytics. Yeah, are we good there? So does it when you have like different like uh, data sets? Does it automatically uh, create the relationships? Or you have to define what kind of relationships you are looking for. Yeah, uh, here I haven't seen it uh, it doing that it, as compared to maybe something like uh, like BI. So you 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 might just need to uh, to do the same for yourself, right? So data interpreter might be able to clean your Microsoft Excel workbook. Yeah, that is one thing you can check. But I wanted to, to to show you how to clean data using uh, using um, uh, Tableau what prep. Yeah, so that is that. Uh, this one will clean data. So if you use maybe uh, clean data with data interpreter. It will clean data, but again, you won't see maybe the the, 
the steps that it has done unless maybe you click on you reviewing the, the results so that that gets us maybe to now uh we use that data that i i, I shared with you for group we talk about how to create a dashboard yesterday we worked with the uh, workshops today we might need to look at uh, uh, dashboards yeah my tablet today is, is very slow I, I don't know why it's really delaying yeah so excel so this is the cleaning that it has done uh -huh. yeah there are so many things that it has it has created here so header uh, uh just given it a header people header data so it has joined it to one old table order sub tables and then others uh, okay yeah i I'll, I'll review this in depth but you can click on this and then you see the changes that uh, it has done if you don't want it you can uh, clear the checkbox here so that it doesn't clean for you things that you might not really know uh so that's that's it with uh with that if you want to maybe edit connection you can you can do do your edits there in terms of like the data that you pulled in but that is really not uh, something to worry about if you want to add maybe uh, more data you can click on this one for add and then you pull in in uh, the data um let's see So let, let, let's pull in that data that you actually uh, that I sent you the this sample data. So we, we, there's no need for any relationship that you, to to be created here. Let me know when you have pulled it. Have you are, are you successfully uh, have you successfully uh, pulled in the data? Yes. Yes. We, Winnie? Okay. I am pulling the data. Yes? I am pulling it right now. Okay. So here we are. Uh, what I wanted to show you now is, let's work with the worksheet first. So you can see here we have sheet one. Again, this is something that we, co we, 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 we covered yesterday. So you just click on, 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 on sheet one and maybe rename it to sales by, no, not sales by first. First you go to you understanding your data. So this is like a fictitious uh, uh, sales data for products here. Yeah, you can see here, smooth, slicky, salty, 99%, dark, orange, choco. So this is for chocolates, yeah? 85% dark bars. So salesperson is this person covering maybe UK. So oh, UK, we have different kinds of uh, salespeople. So we have Obisorel, uh, Brand Boys, and... Uh, many others you can even do a filter here just to see so you can see the name of people the names of the people here so you have Willon and the rest uh, countries again you can also check the countries Australia Canada UK USA New Zealand India yeah and also even the dates you can check it was 2022 we have January February March so it was uh, the months of 2022 that is up to august and again uh, you have a, a, a title here boxes are shipped 
So you can check. We have up to 709, the largest. So there was 709 boxes uh, shipped. Okay. So that is again part of even understanding your data. The highest sales made at one point was $22,050. Yeah. So product, I bet they are numerous ones. 50% uh, duck bites and even white shock. So, I mean, they are, they, are, they, are, they are quite a number. So that is part of just you understanding like what, what the data is. So salesperson, country, product, date, amount, and then boxes uh, shipped. So amount of products. Uh, so that is how much did uh, the product uh, maybe give us? That is the amount section. So um, yeah, that that's that's just a basic understanding of of, of, of the data. Unless there's something else you 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 are understanding. Yeah. So if you divide maybe fifty three twenty divided by one eight uh, twenty nine. So boxes uh, shipped. So I, I wonder whether this one is a cost per box or a cumulative cost. So if it is cumulative cost, then it would mean that 5320 divided by 180, every box is 29.55 US dollars. Yeah. Sim the, the, just a simple uh, understanding of the same. Yeah, but nonetheless, you can visualize uh, something here. So tell me what to do. We may want to see maybe uh, sales by country, right? So something like maybe, uh, let's see. So when you have the rows there, and then you have uh, the amount, sorry. Yeah, so you can have maybe something like this. So Australia, uh, is leading with uh, 1.137, uh, so 1,137,367 uh, US dollars, and then you follow it through with, uh, now that is not showing us the correct value. So uh, you might need to rename this to sales by country. Sales by Sales by country. Now, you can see that uh, this one, it is not really arranged in terms of ascending or descending order. How do we arrange the same? How do you arrange it? Somebody tell me how, how to edit it so that uh, when you're coming from Australia, the, the, the second lowest, Yes. There's a button next to amount there. A button next to amount. No. Where? Down here. Down here. No, down here on the table itself. On the amount on the x axis? Yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, down okay. It's down there. <coughs> what the word amount is written. So I'm seeing amount here and then there's also here so on the on, on the, the visual page, yes on the visual thank you uh, -huh. uh where amount is written amount is here a, oh here yeah there's uh -huh. that little button on the side you just uh -huh. press that yeah then, you could use that also you could use these ones yeah sorted ascending by sum of amount within country this one tells you that sorted descending by sum of amount within country. So if I click this, you can see how it changes. If I click this, you can see how it changes, right? So you can also ch change that with uh, with this one for. So now you can see maybe we are uh, we have started Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, UK, USA. So we have arranged it from A to Z. You can also decide to arrange it from Z to A. Yeah, so that is that is what the other one for for the x-axis. 
yeah you can change it here with the amounts you can change it up here with with this so that is sales by country and let's so let's rename it to sales by country so that is our our our, our worksheet so maybe you need another worksheet here and we can say maybe you want to see sales by sales persons right <clears throat> so we have sales person here so you can see maybe you have andre and the likes and then uh, amounts that uh, they have sold you can see it there we can change maybe the visual to to this right so if you wanted it in table that is what we had previously so here also you can change the, the name and say sales by by sales persons right and then you click on okay we talked about maybe you changing uh, using maybe these uh, uh these various uh font types and even font sizes if you wanted then you can use the same yeah so sales by sales person so if i want it to maybe semi bold you can now see that it is bold yeah uh let's do this and then uh similar to maybe what you did you can use these ones or you can use these ones or you can use these ones but even here you can see they have been arranged from a to z yeah so if you edit it that way you can see uh something there yeah so what else mm-hmm yeah you can change change everything from from this corner but that is uh that is that is done um so if we wanted to to maybe create just a minute so if you wanted to create a, a dashboard so we delete this you can see here there's something that looks more of like a, a square is it a square then it has sub, it's been subdivided into four so we can you can click on that to reveal a dashboard so let me edit this first and name it to sales by sales by sales persons before that sales by country i had already even told you how to add colors so that they are not having the same color you can come here and then uh, add color so add color there so that you can see we have sales by by country and then now we have it in different um, different colors yeah um something else that you may you may want to do even before we get to that you may want to do a filter even on this how many sales people do we have here so we have Jess, Obi, Madene and so I think it's a, it's a quite a number let's try it and do a filter here just thinking of any filter that you could do so give me an example of a filter that you may want to to do here <clears throat> Yes, any filter that you may want us to do? Karen. Mine is just a guess. Could we filter them by region? Filter by region? Yeah. 
So we do a filter by region. So let me see if that is possible. Yeah, we are just trying, try, do we have region here or country? Yeah. Oh yeah, I meant, I meant country. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see. So if you want to see only people uh, who did maybe sales in, uh, in Australia, you can click and see the people from Australia that you have here. Yeah. Uh, so that is if you do a filter for, for, for only Australia. Mm. Edit filter. You may edit filter and maybe <clears throat> and put in maybe something like Canada if you want to also see people from Canada or uh, just UK. Yeah, you can see people from UK here. Yeah. So if that's not uh, what you want to see, then you can put it back to edit filter and get it to all. Okay, but if you feel like maybe you want to exclude, I think this list should be a little longer. I don't know why it's not, it's not moving, but yeah. Yeah, go back to filter, edit filter, and uh, so for example, and none, and then I do this and then click on exclude, then it means, I'm excluding Australia from uh, from my list. You can see it is grayed out, right? Yeah. So this one is grayed out. So you can you can get it back and maybe click on uh, on that. So select list. Uh, okay. Yeah. So here yeah, you you have that. Um, let me get it back and maybe pick salesperson. So we have this list of salespeople. So this list of salespeople, and I think they are selling in multiple countries. Yeah, that is what I see. Let me check, for example, um, to come uh, Jehu Rud Rudford. So just do a search Jehu and click on OK. So you can see Jehu is selling to UK, yeah, he's selling in different countries, so that is what I was. Yeah, you can understand that they are selling to multiple countries. So you can remove that and maybe even check somebody like uh, Brian Boyce. Australia is also uh, selling to maybe different countries, Australia, UK, India, Canada. And, uh, and the rest, so yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Something else is, yeah, so we were here. So we wanted to select maybe uh, to filter for, yeah, we are seeing here top. So filter by field. So some average, okay. So let's say we filter out top 10%, top 10 uh, salesmen, right? Or salespeople. For, for any, any, like, well, when you are my user, the highest amounts, top 10%, not really top 10. This, this should be top 10 percentage. So top 10, and then you, you click on OK. Is it percentage or the number? Let's see the number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So top ten should be top. Those the, the top ten salespeople that we have around, not top ten percent. Uh, that's what I was coming to confirming. Yeah. So you can see that maybe Chess, Bonnell, and uh, the last person being Manny Obren. Yeah. So two fifty nine Manny, and then you have two fifty six, and then you have three twenty Chess Bonnell. So yeah, you, this is something that you may you may want to do uh, to do a filter. So you can do a filter here. Yeah, any any question on on, on filtering? Yeah. 
Do you have any question? If not, we proceed. Okay, yeah. So uh, that is that. So again, if you want to uh, to show some colors, you may just pull in the cells here and then now add add a color there. So you you could see that. Kila mtu na color yake. If you don't want it, just drag it back so that you don't have the color. Is that okay, uh, Ian? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, what did I want to... Yeah, I wanted us to check something on a dashboard. So you click on that. You can see how the dashboard is. <laughs> so it is telling us to drop uh, to drop sheets here. Yeah. So you can go here and uh, drag and drop sheets on your work. Uh huh. Ah, they're here. Sorry. So you can drag in uh, maybe a worksheet uh, that you had already worked on. So you can also drag this other one for for sales by country and put it there so you can see how it is yeah so you can go to go back to sales and country and maybe you don't want to see these things here so if you drag it back and you check your dashboard now you can see how your dashboard is have you tried out that current ah winnie Uh, yes. Are you where we are? No. <laughs> where are you? And I'm why are you, why are you not with us? Uh, the moment you you left me was when I was pulling the data. Okay, I uh, I got to this point where I already have it, but mm -hmm. I didn't know how you got to this um this space where now you have where you actually picked the, the particular data we are using right now and to 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 drag yes there i don't know how we got there so after that i just now started following because i didn't want to bring but, the whole team back but this we did yesterday eh? i know but now mine uh -huh. let me show you where my mine is at if i can okay Can you see? Uh, okay. uh, can you see? Hey, uh, can you see my screen? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is this is uh, sorry. Uh, this is where I am this right miss, now. So okay. I was. Uh huh. Let's let's continue. Continue where? Uh, yeah. Drag and drop where? <laughs> Click on this uh, thing uh, called sheet one. No. Uh, okay. Click that back. By the way, wait. Check out that. Mm. No, not there. Okay. Yeah. So click on sheet one. Down a little bit, like move your cursor down. Chini. Down, down. Are you yeah. seeing that sheet one? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes, now yes. do the analytics that we did. Okay. What did we do first? Now continue. Drag it. Okay. So, so so we first um, did country sales by country. Yeah. Put uh, okay. Just put it there and see what is going to happen. Uh huh. And then what what are you pulling in for uh, the other? One? We wanted to see sales by country. So you go to amount. It won't work, but just try it. Okay, yeah. So yours is this way. So you can you can auto change them. Uh, 
I mean, just to look like what we did. So some amount yeah. yende ju. No, wait. Okay, yeah, sawa, okay. sawa. Uh, no, that, that, looks, that, that looks better. Um, so edit the name of your sheet. What did you call yours? Sales by country. Sales by country. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, go to a new worksheet. Ah, wait. Okay, yeah, go to a new worksheet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, create another one. Sales by uh, salesperson. <clears throat> so? Yeah, do, do the same thing that we did. No, uh, drag it to click out. Yeah. Click outside. Yeah, drag it. <clears throat> you could put it in the rows. Yeah, it looks better that way. And then amount. Yeah, and then you can do something like, uh, yeah, rename your worksheet. Mm-hmm. Sales by salesperson. The moment you change its name here, you can see it is it is going to change under that place written sheet two. So just change it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is what we had. Can you try? Uh, no, don't do that yet. We want to see it in uh, descending order. So arrange arrange this data in descending order. No. Not Why is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that is the descending order. Click it. Now you have it that way. The same thing you can do under upper qua amount, upper chin. Not that wow. way. Yeah. Where it is written yeah. up there, there. So just click it to see what is happening. Now you've arranged it in ascending now. Uh is it ascending or descending? Yeah, so this is, this is ascending. This ascending, right? Yeah. Again, yes. Uh, uh, one more time. Uh, yeah. So this. So this is now we are. This is now we are. We are ascending or descending. Uh, can you check up? Go up. Go well, up. Yeah, up. Yes. No, just up a little bit. Over your castle on that. Not there. Like on top of some amount. On top of some amount. The green thing. This is descending. Yeah, here. Yeah. On top is this descending. Yeah. So, then so this. that one is descending. Yeah. So. So which one do you want? No, yeah. it's okay. It's okay. Like I just wanted to check something. And then we have done filters. Now we may want to filter and just see the top twenty people in terms of okay, do a top five people. Mm-hmm. So drag salesperson to where it is written filters. Are you seeing salesperson? Yeah. Drag it to where it is written filters. I did. Yeah. No, not not exactly where it is written filters, but inside that box. I drag it again. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, not up. Yeah, okay. Chin apple So if you put it on top of filters, it won't work. So maybe go to where it is written top uh, so click on by field so uh, here it is written maybe 10 you can edit it to another number can you remove 10 and maybe no, add maybe write five. you can type yeah yeah you can delete and type maybe add five so, and then you can see here akuna mali miandiko amount can you click? Yeah. So here you determine, you choose which uh, which column you want to filter by. So in this case, we are filtering now the amount. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can you can uh, or you can even can you try filtering now? Yeah. Go back to that nini. Wait. Go back to your amount. Your column. Which column you are filtering with? 
Kuna hapo kwa Mount. That's where I am. I'm no, moving. I'm seeing yeah. you on Sam. Ama ni, ni kasa no, 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 no. It's, it's already on the amount. It's here. Yeah, the cursor, okay, now it has moved. Yeah, can you click maybe boxes uh, shipped? Yeah, and then some, and then click on OK. Yeah, so top five. So the top five by boxes uh, shipped, you can see there is Bobby Sorrel. You can hover your cursor to ambi ame, ame ship how many boxes? Hover your cursor on Obi Sorrel. Yeah. Yeah, OB uh, 316,645. Yeah, yeah so the, is the one leading in terms of boxes shipped. So you can clear that filter. Drug sales person out. Out where? From filter speed. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh get the sales person back so that to fanane na we are we have done. Just drag salesperson back to filters. Okay. Now go to top. top. And then you uh, to at top 10. Click on by field. Wait. Click on by field. Yeah, and click on OK. So amount here. Yeah, you got to have amount, yeah. We have used amount at assist. Apply or OK? Yeah, click on OK. You can click on apply, then click on OK. So uh, apply, if you click, it won't automatically come here until you click on OK. OK. So uh, are you good? I'm, I'm now perfect. Thanks. Okay. Um, so let me resume presenting. I think you are able to see it. So, so here we are. So, um, what I wanted to to tell you people was, uh, again, you can you can you can even play around, rearrange your worksheets. In. So, how you want them to begin? Yeah. But, ukitaka nini now? We are here in new dashboard. Click new dashboard. So it's dashboard one. So again, even here in dashboard, you can uh, you can play around with the size of your dashboard. The, similarly, how I told you, you can play around with your Canva setting on Power BI. Yeah, the size of your page, you can play around with it and uh, choose various and even come here and choose custom. So if you choose custom, it is for you to edit the for you to edit the the. The, the fields by your side by by um uh, uh whatever way you prefer it like whatever amounts you prefer so this one automatically made pair like a kind of a desktop browser view mm, so when you get here you can see that maybe it is telling you to drop sheets here so you can drag this and drop it there Sales by country, you can also drag and drop whatever way, whatever way you like it to be. Yeah, I can even uh, mm -hmm. what I wanted. You can remove it and choose a different way. So you can see if you drag it this way, in a it it will sit. If you drag it up, it shows you. If you try to drag it down, it shows you how it will be sitting. Right? Yeah, so if you want to remove it, you just remove it here. If you want to uh, to, to go back to the sheet and edit it, you just click on this place. And it takes you back to the worksheet where you are in. Uh, if you, I'll tell you something else when it comes to this use as filter. Yeah. But now, you see, this page like maybe our analysis has already uh, filled up all the all the spaces that we had because that was our dashboard size. Let me see if you can uh, change it to a different one. If you click here full screen, you can also 
uh, see maybe things has resized a little bit. Yeah, or go back to desktop, they've resized again. But it makes it a little bit difficult for us to resize this these pages, the, this these visuals, the way it is heavy. It's, it's a little bit difficult to uh, to resize. So how you want it to appear, instead of tiled, put it as floating. And I'll, and I'll show you how it works. Now let's go back and maybe remove this. We'll also remove the two items with it. So delete containers. Yeah. So let's let's say to make us floating and drag this. You know how the size now becomes. Control Z. If you have it as tiled and drag it in, it, it fills the whole space. You can see this whole space has been taken by only this one 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 visual. Are you able to see that, uh, Karen? Yes, I can see that. Yeah. So so that is if you have it as a tiled. Yeah. Uh, but if you have it as a float uh, in in floating mode, you can be able to you can be able to play around with uh, with your visual. So ni wewe kazi yako itakuwa ni edit. Why is it not moving? Where I want to move? Yeah. My if I use the arrows, it's working, but if I use the nini, it's not. So I can edit it to the size that I want. Yeah. Now maybe place it, place it at this place. So maybe I don't want this to be to be shown. So if you click on this, you can drag it to my lunataka. If you take it here, put it outside. Yeah. So we want to get this back. Yeah. So this is it. So this is the advantage of using it as floating. Yeah. If you want to increase the size, you do that. If you want this, you do this. If you want to minimize it, you just do it this way. And then maybe drag this one also. If you want it that way, and then you, you want this to sit here. Let me see where. So the bad thing, you see how 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 Power BI tells you if you are going to uh like come with Fika Kwabodaya, the other visual. This one doesn't show you, so that is also another another downside. The downside of it doesn't tell you where this one is in Africa until maybe you, because you may want to arrange your 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 table, your your visual. So it doesn't tell you maybe. The arrangements, Malizimefika. That is another problem that uh, makes me not to like Power BI. So for those who like Power BI, just know that for me, I don't like it that much. Yeah. So this is sales by country. So this is maybe one of the ways you can try to arrange here. So if we add maybe another visual, we can put it here, put it here, and 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 the likes. Uh, and that could be like our dashboard number one, and rename it to uh, maybe sales summary. Yeah, sales summary. So if we had maybe, for example, sales by region, to Naeka Apple, uh, outlet performance, we put it there. Uh, you remember even uh, product location, we put it there. You create more, more of like, you create more dashboards for you to, to see that. Yeah? Is that understandable? So there's another thing here. Let me just make this a little, let me leave it at, at uh, tiled. Let me first remove this and even remove this. I want to use it as tiled so that they just fit in resize and the likes. So if you want to be resizing, use Nini. Use Mabana Floating. So I want it this way. Um, if you see here, mm -hmm. 
there's something I wanted to show you. Yeah, so if I want maybe, so I can click this one, this is not affected. If I click even this, this one is not affected, right? You remember how there was interactivity uh, in Power BI, that maybe I click that filter and then it, it changes. I click on maybe a certain thing and it changes. So you can decide to say, maybe if I click country in the equation, like this one to change, right? So you click here on something users filter. So right now, if I click this, you can see kuna some reorganization that has just happened here. If I click UK, kuna mavitu, unafanyika, eh? You can see if I click USA, Dennis Cross, Crossway is the one with the leading sales. And that is 69545, right? If I click on Canada, uh, Beverly Moffett is the one who is leading with uh, 71995. You click the same and you can see that. Uh, Honestly, how can, you, how can you love Power BI to Tableau? This is actually very interesting. <laughs> yeah, for me, I, 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 I love Power BI. Uh, maybe it's love at first sight. Uh, the fact that maybe I uh, used it uh, first before using uh, Tableau. But in terms of uh, how easy it is to, to create maybe... Uh, uh, visuals, you could say this one is, uh, I mean, it's more of a drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. But for BI, it challenges your mind, like, yeah, maybe write a formula here and find something there, which again you can do here. Uh, let me tell you that you can write a formula again. If you see here, in count, you can write calculated fields. Why is this not working? Okay. Yeah. Uh, create. So I, you remember there's that time when we wrote, uh, if you wanted to do maybe distinct count of outlets. Yeah, in Power BI. So here is where you can also do the same. So if, if you maybe just um, right click this open space here, then write create calculated field here. And then you can write in that. So for example, I want us to, to, to count count of salespersons. Count of sales persons. Persons, right? And then here is where you write the, the formula. So which, which formula is it? Distinct, distinct. Oh, so this one doesn't have distinct count. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just write maybe count. So count, so what do you want to be counted? You want it to count the salesperson. Yeah, and then, uh, so the, the calculation is valid and then you click on OK. So you can see here count of salespersons. Uh, we can't drag it there. Let me check if we can do it here. Count of salespersons. You can see now we have, it's telling us that we have 1094 salespersons, but I wanted a distinct count. This is not true. This is more or less like the rows of our data. So this one is starting at 2. Yeah, you see 1095. So it is counting for us rows. Uh, how do you get distinct counting? Distinct count in uh, uh, Tableau. So, uh, so count D. Okay, yeah. So use count D, yeah. Uh -huh. So let's let me let me rewrite it. Calculate uh, salespersons. 
salespersons and then count distinct this one and then you write sales person and then click on ok so right now if you pull in this so it won't work because we already let me delete this and uh, create a new worksheet yeah so now it is telling us we have 25 yeah so so that is also a way to even create we call it the, the so these are functions is it functions or formula so formula so this is a formula that you can use to just do some counts here and there is that uh, in order yes is it uh, is it okay uh winnie yes it is yeah tomorrow we'll talk about more on this dashboard how you can uh, play around with the placing your um your what and again for uh, so yeah placing in your visuals in, in the dashboard and and creating more of it uh, as you go forward tomorrow and thursday and i think we'll uh, we'll just call it uh, uh, an experience with with tableau because because of more of relatability that we can have with what we have done in bi unless there's any question so go on, go on. Um, I have a question. Yes. You said what do we do to get distinct count? Distinct count. Yeah. You, you use the formula count D. Uh, okay. in, in Power BI, it is distinct count, but here in Tableau, it is count D. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're, you're welcome. So I, I may just need to maybe save this so that you use it tomorrow and call it practice two or we'll use a different data set for us to but ah uh, now what what you need to do i mean this thing is not really too much much work to to do yeah can you go and do some analytics on it and 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 come up with the three uh come up with the dashboards so we have maybe here we have a sales summary dashboard come up with another one and another one so that we have uh, three is that too much to ask no yeah just just go and look at what you can come up with using this i mean there's there's not there's not too much because apa kuna product kuna country and you can see that we have only used Hapa kwa sales, we have only used salesperson peke yake hapa. Now, let me try and pull in maybe something like country here. So if you pull in country, now you can see we have uh, salespeople. No, this is, uh, this is not going to give us uh, something nice because it's starting with salesperson, then going to the countries that is working. With. Maybe we, we, we try placing country first yeah so if it if we start with country now you can see we have australia sales people under it canada sales people under it you can have very many information here depicted on the cell when you have you done something called facet trap in uh, in r uh, ian facet grid facet trap I think I have, even though I am a light beginner in R. So yeah. So you, if if you look at this, it's more giving you the the facet grid uh, vibes. So if mm. you haven't done the same, yeah. So um, you, what what I wanted to to tell you is that even as you are going to explore that, don't look at it as just maybe in every in every uh, worksheet. You only have one column, one row. You can have multiple columns here. You can have multiple rows. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a, by the way. So this means that this one changes to sales bus sales by 
uh, yeah, whatever it is that you're going to give the name. <laughs> I may want to get it back. Any other question? If, if there is no any question, then uh, have a, a good night. That's only start of